my name is Julie and this is KS Mom Crochets and today is going to be crochet podcast number 26. So um, I'm actually recording this a day early. I did um, get two things finished and I thought why not just go ahead and make a video because um, one of them will be gone um, tomorrow and I will not be able to show it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the whole entire video and then if I do happen to finish something then I will um, insert it. Um, I'm not going to show any whips unless I show them in the clip. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But um, so let's just let me just get started and show you um, what I got finished. So, as you all know, in my last podcast, I told you all that I was crocheting a dress for my niece, and I finished it. Now, I haven't washed it. I plan on, that's the back side, I plan on washing this, and um, hopefully it will, like, loosen up. It's kind of tight feeling, not not tight, but um, it's not drapey is what I mean to say. So I'm hoping that after I wash it, it will soften up because um, I did use um, a 5.5 millimeter hook on this and I used the Red Heart Super Saver Ombre yarn and a, <laughs> and a net, oh, I don't, I can't say that word, anemone? Uh, Linda tried to teach me how to say it and there was somebody else that tried to teach me um, Abby tried to teach me how to say it I still don't think I'm saying that right but it is the pink color <laughs> the pink color um, ombre from Red Heart and this is the um, Little Ruby Rose dress from Bag o Day Crochet um, I think that I looked it up and it was number 508 if I'm wrong, I will put it right here, but I'm pretty sure that's right. But I really love how it worked up. Um, I was kind of um, nervous about how this light pink um, would look as the trim because I was getting down to the bottom here and I thought, I'm going to run out of yarn and I'm not going to have enough to do this trim. So what I did is I worked from the outside because I was working from the, the, the center of the yarn. So I started pulling from the outside and I did not detach from the body of the dress. And I went ahead and did the um, just the single crochet border around the sleeve and the neck area. And that is the color that was on the end was this really light um, pink which is the same um, color that is kind of in the middle of the dress. So I think it looks okay. Um, I, I kind of wish that it had been this darker color, but that's all right. I, I really do like it a lot. And I love the stitch that she used um, for this. It's really pretty and it's so simple. This was so easy and I've always been so intimidated by wearables um, I'm still intimidated by wearables for adults, but I really enjoyed making this um, dress. Like, it was so hard to put this down, and I think um, what made me love working on it, um, too, is because I want to see what my niece looks like in it. And if, if I get a picture in time and I get permission from my sister, I will try to um, show you all a picture of her in it. If not... Um, then that's okay. Um, but hopefully she will at least send me pictures of her in it. But I, I really like how it turned out. So my plan was to make this dress and then I wanted to make some bows. And I have got really behind all my YouTube videos because I had to work some days that I wasn't, uh, a day that I wasn't supposed to. So I kind of got behind on uh, the YouTube world <laughs> and I was sitting there making this dress and I was catching up on Llama Mama Kayla's videos 
and she was doing this barrette with the flower. Now, her flower only had five petals, but somehow I ended up with six, and that is just fine. And this is the only clippy clip <laughs> that I had. Um, it's yellow, but I think it will be fine, and I just hot glued it to the back. And then my daughters, I used to have all kinds of ribbon bows um, that I would put in their hair when they were little. Um, a friend of mine um, used to make them when they were little, and I had a ton of them. Um, I ended up getting rid of those, but I wish that I hadn't because I would have loved it gave them to my niece. But I did have a couple, so I took the clip off of that um, bow because the ribbon was just stained where it had went through two kids. And um, I made a bow. It's a little wopsided, but I still think that it will be cute and it matches. Um, obviously, I was to the end of the skein. I was determined to use the, all of the skein, and I did all of it, but just a very little bit. So that is the flower. And then I made another one with a... Um, another flower with the clip and it looks like this and so that one I wanted um I made this one first while I was watching Kayla's video and I will have it linked below just in case you're interested in how to make this cute little flower it is so easy to make but um I wanted it to be a little bit bigger so what I did is I made the flower like she did, except I made more single crochets, and in the front loops of that single crochet foundation um, circle that you have, I did the flower like she did, um, except I gave it a few more petals. And then into the back loops, I did triple crochets just like she did, except instead of doing a chain three, I did a chain four. Instead of doing a triple crochet or a double crochet, I did a triple crochet. And um, so what I ended up doing to make it a little bit wider so that you could see it better is I just did a chain four, three triple crochets, chain four, slip stitch. And then um, that made this cute little flower. And then one of their bows that was um, stained had this little rhinestone in it, so I took that off and I hot glued it into the flower, and then just onto the back back there, and repurposed it so it worked out. <laughs> so I'm really happy with how um, I don't know if I can hold them all up here or not. It's not really working out, is it? But I really like how that turned out and I cannot wait to um, see her in it. I don't know if she will wear these or not. Um, she probably will not like stuff in her hair, but I'm really hoping to see her in the dress. So that is my first finished object or objects, I guess. Now my second finished object is... Um, Mr. Barks a lot. <laughs> so I finished him and I love him so much. I just absolutely love him. Now you all will be seeing him again. Um, this pattern is by Crystal over at Chronically Crocheting and I am testing this pattern. And so I finally got him done and got all of my, you know, things that I needed to tell her about the pattern and my pictures um, sent to her. And um, I'm going to show him as a finished object, but then whenever her pattern releases, I will come on and let you all know, and I will show him again. So he is not going to be leaving just yet. Um, I just want to um, hold on to him until her pattern comes out so that I can show him again, because I do want to give this to my niece's brother or my nephew so um, he will be going to live with him eventually but he does have his tail sewed on and I did the short version she has a long version of the ears and a short version and on her I kind of messed up right there but that's okay we'll look at this side 
But uh, on her paw pads, she has um, embroidered around them, but I couldn't get that to look right, so I didn't do that on him. Um, I did use a different color of yarn for the middle of his tongue, but it's so similar that you can't even really tell. Um, and I did give him the big um, green glitter eyes, and I love these eyes. This is the first time I have show, or I did show when I bought these eyes, and this is the first time that I have got to use them, and I really like them a lot. So I'm excited to use them again in the future. Now, in my last video, I made a mistake, and I misspoke, and I want to apologize to Crystal, because I I didn't realize um, when I was making this podcast, because I hadn't made it that far in the pattern, but I thought that this muzzle and these paw prints were made with a four-weight yarn, because the whole entire body and the ears are made with a five-weight and the tail, but... When I got to this part of the pattern, and that was after my podcast had released, I realized that this was made out of a bulky yarn too, or a five weight yarn. And so I didn't have any bulky yarn um, that looked right with this color that I used. So I showed this last time, and this is um, this yarn that I used um, is Premier Puzzle in the color um, backgammon, backgammon, and this is how much I had left after making his body. So one skein of the Premier Puzzle is definitely enough to make this dog. Um, I was really happy about that because I have um, some just random skeins of this yarn, so it's nice to know that there's a pattern out there that will almost use all of it because there's barely, it looks like a lot, but there's really not that much left. Um, and this is um, 328 yards of yarn. And I have less than a third of it left. I mean, there's barely any left to do anything. I could do something maybe really small. But in my podcast, I showed this yarn. And this is Crafter's Secret. It is a four weight and it's the color um, Light Taupe. And so what I did is I doubled it up and made it um, a five weight <laughs> or whatever, you know, made it a similar size to the puzzle and it worked out just fine. So, you know, it's a little bit hard to, to do that, to use two strands of a four weight and a five millimeter hook um, because your stitches are really tight. Um, but it is possible to do that because that's what I did. Because I really wanted to use this color for his paw pads and his um, muzzle. Yeah. <laughs> so um, everything on this pattern is made with a five weight yarn. The only thing that is not is the tongue and then like when you embroider the nose. Yeah. That's the only thing. And then like if you put the embroidery around the paw prints, I think... I'm pretty sure she uses a four weight yarn for that, um, but like I said, if you wanted to use a smaller yarn, a four weight yarn, um, you could do that. It would be so easy, and then you could just use something else, um, like a thinner yarn or embroidery floss. It would just take more of it to um, embroider your nose, and then, you know, a thinner yarn for the tongue. Um, too. So that would definitely work. But I'm really happy with how he turned out. And I'm so thankful to you, Crystal, for letting me test this pattern. And I, I can't wait to um, for your pattern to come out so other people can try it out too. Because it was a lot of fun to make. It was a lot of fun. Um, you know, there is quite a bit of sewing on this pattern, but it's nothing that's complicated. And she really walks you through how to do everything. I feel like that this pattern is definitely, um, so if you're familiar with doing amigurumi, that you could definitely do it. And the instructions are so, um, you know, the pictures and the way that she um, wrote the pattern, I believe that if you're familiar with your stitches, then you would definitely be able to um, make this as a beginner 
too. So there is my Mr. Barks lot. And that is all of my finished objects. And like I said, I will let you all know when that pattern is available for purchase. Her patterns are very reasonable um, on Etsy. So um, they're definitely worth it. They're definitely worth it. Well, um, just move on into acquisitions because my husband and I our anniversary was on August the 2nd and it just kind of snuck up on us this year because I was like I can't spend any more money I don't want to you know buy any more vintage patterns and all this and then he's we were talking um the other day and he was like um our anniversary is the fourth isn't it and I said no it's the second and I pulled up my phone and I looked and it was the first. I was like, our anniversary is tomorrow. <laughs> so we were both, we were both in trouble, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, we still got to celebrate a little bit and it was just really, it was a really nice anniversary, but, um, I don't know if I said it or not, but we have been married for eight years, um, on August 2nd. So, he did tell me, he's like, well, what do you want for our anniversary? Because we do always try to get a little something for each other because it's just nice to do that. Our main thing that we do for each other is cards because that is just, you know, it's that's what's special to um, me and to him. But we do like to get each other a, a little gift. I hear Bella outside the door. She wants in. So I hope you can't hear that. But um, I said, I really want some vintage patterns. <laughs> and I really want some vin you know, some vintage stuff off eBay. And he's like, well, yeah, well, I'll, I'll get you whatever, you know, whatever you're wanting. You know, well, not whatever you're wanting. But you can <laughs> pick out some stuff and I'll get it for you. So that is what he did. And I was really... Um, excited about that so I did get a few things in the mail and I'm going to have to pause this because for some reason she has snuck in here how did you get in here oh here's my Bella oh she's a licker that's the reason I don't like picking her up but I thought I would show her since she just busted into my room where I'm recording. Um, this is, uh, like I said, Bella, and she is going to be 10 very soon. But I'm going to pause this and I'll be right back. I'm sorry about that. Oh, this video is just going to be super crazy, but that's okay. So, back to what I was saying, my husband did buy me some vintage patterns, and in my last podcast, I showed this 15-inch doll that I got. It is a Fibercraft doll. I know it's really hard to see the glare, um, but it is a 15-inch doll. Um, classic is a 15-inch classic doll from Fibercraft. And I had got that off of eBay. Well, I wanted some more patterns to go with it because as I have mentioned numerous times, I was obsessed with that vintage doll dress that Diane showed on her video. And so I wanted to try to find a pattern that looked similar. And it was really nice. She did have them all inside these little um, binder things. There's four of them. And I'm just trying to take them out really quick so that I don't have the glare from that plastic. So in Diane's video, she showed a pattern that looks very similar to this. Now, it is not the exact pattern that she, uh, that her, that the doll that she had was wearing but it does look almost identical. The only difference, obviously, is that this dress is done in all in one color, and uh, the one that she showed was done in um, two different colors. But I think that I can use this pattern and make it look like the one that she showed. So what I would do is I would um, do 
everything in green and then or wait red and then this part in green I think that's how it went I don't know but I want to do it in Christmas <laughs> I want to do it in Christmas colors but this is a fiber craft pattern and it is named Constance and it is for the fiber um, classics 15 inch doll which is the doll that I have so I wanted some because the patterns that I have the Dumplin design bed doll patterns will not fit this doll because it is a completely different shape it's thinner um, and it's taller so I don't think that it would work so I did want some patterns to go with it now this one is not my favorite but it is still cute and its name is Annabelle and I really like her too but like I said she is not my favorite but the person that was selling these was selling these all together and then the next one is Mirren Mir Mirum Mirum Miriam I don't know how to say that Miriam I think and I like this one too it just looks like it would be a lot of work like you would really um, have to take a lot of time it would take a lot of time to do this one because of all the ruffling in the front um, that's a lot of stitches right there but I do really like her too um, I think she's really pretty and then the last one is another one of my favorites I really like this one too um, Constance was my number one and this is definitely um, my number two and this is Lily uh, Lily with two L's and I think that she is just so pretty. She reminds me of something off of Gone with the Wind. Um, that was my first um, thought when I seen her. Um, I just, I love that one. And I like how they put the black with the pink too. Um, I know that those colors may not be for everybody, but I love that. I think that looks so pretty um, with that pink and black together. But like I said, that one is Lily. And those are the four um patterns uh, that I got now I do have some other things coming um, some things that he knows about and then some things that I got that he may not know about so <laughs> it's okay <laughs> not a lot I didn't go like nuts or nothing but yeah so I um, seen this I had been watching this for a long time and I'm sorry about the crinkle there is a lot of plastic around these because they are all of this stuff let me get them out all of this stuff never had been used like it had never been even opened um, I'm not really sure when that it came out or how old this is but I am in love with this next thing that I'm going to show you so um I think Diane is the one that showed the Santas, the Santa and the Mrs. Claus. I'm pretty sure. Somebody showed it. I'm pretty sure it was her. But I seen these. I was looking for um, the 15 inch doll. And when I was looking, you know, other stuff, when you search up Fibercraft on eBay, there is tons of different things that they made. That people are selling on there and this was something that showed up and I fell in love with it and this is a Santa doll I love him so much and I got a killer deal like this was listed for a lot more and then I I gave them my I was telling my husband I was like I really want to buy this and they're accepting offers what do you think I should offer and he's like lowball them and see if they accept it and if they don't then I will and I did and they accepted it and I was like shocked which now I did have to pay shipping so it did make it a little bit higher but I know that the shipping costed them a lot because it was priority shipping what they shipped it so I know that what I paid for shipping is what I actually what they actually paid for shipping but for all of this stuff that I'm about to show you, I only paid $15 for it. And I, you know, plus the shipping, but like I said, I'm not even counting that because I know I got it within two days. But here is the Santa doll. 
He is a music box Santa doll. And I love his little face. He is so cute. Um, he does come with his little boots on. And in the back of him, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is an opening in his back for a music box. But not only did I get Santa, I got Mrs. Claus too. Now her shoes have came off, but she does have some little, um, some little black shoes that she can wear. And this is Mrs. Claus. Now my daughter says that she doesn't really like the way, I cannot get that glare off her face. She doesn't really like how Mrs. Claus's face looks, but I think she's cute. I think she's adorable. So this is my Santa and my Mrs. Claus. Yeah, I'm trying to get that glare off, but it's not gonna work. I don't want to take them out of the package because this is something that I will probably do when it gets closer to Christmas and I am in the Christmas mood. <laughs> Because I just have other things that I want to work on. So I did get Santa and Mrs. Claus. But there was actually extras in there. So I got really excited. Because this, these dolls. They came with patterns. And so I got really excited. And I was like yay. I, can, I get the patterns for the clothes. And I... I'm not disappointed though like I don't want you all to think that I'm disappointed because I am not I still feel like that those dolls were worth just on their own were worth more than what I paid for this but I did get two pattern books I almost hit myself in the eye I did get two pa pattern books for Mrs. Claus and Santa Claus but they are sewing patterns and um, I'm not really good at sewing but you never know maybe one day I will figure out how to do this so I'm still happy to have them because um you know I might eventually learn how to do that you never know I never thought that I would learn how to crochet so I mean I could pick up sewing one day too so I'm really excited to have those anyway but I did order the actual crochet patterns for this um these dolls um, did I say Santa is a 14 inch doll and Mrs. Claus is a 13 inch doll. So that, I got that in this package. And like I said, I paid $15 plus shipping. And plus I got the fabric to make the dresses and the Santa suit. Like there is a, I don't even know how many um yards this red is but there is plenty enough there to make both the santa and the mrs claus and then there is also this really pretty christmas print that i love i have made one bag one time um and i kind of want to use this fabric to make a bag but if I'll do that, I don't know. I don't know, but I really do love that fabric right there. It's so pretty. And it's nice. Um, you know, nice. You can tell it's like cotton fabric or something. So I got that in the package. Plus, it came with these two packages of the um, fur. Um, it's like a, it's like a panel of fur. Or whatever um, I guess to put the trim around the I guess you sew that as the trim around Santa's suit and I think she has some trim on the bottom of her dress so that would be used for that or whatever I want to use it for and then I'm sorry I'm having to reach let me just try to get all this stuff left I guess there's more there's more so I also got one pair of glasses and I'm not sure who I'm going to put these on. I'm thinking that I might put them on Mrs. Claus and not put them on Santa Claus. Um, I think that that might be what I do. I'm not sure. But these are just fiber craft. All this stuff is fiber craft except for this fur was um, Westrum crafts or however you say that. And then I don't know about the fabric. 
but these were the little eyeglasses that go on Santa and then they also now these look like they're a little bit messed up but that's fine I'm completely fine with that but I got some little diamond weave socks um, to go with them and then they also had some green ribbon and some red ribbon so they literally bought everything that you needed to have to make those sewing patterns and the dolls or whoever owned this before and then it also this is the last thing that came with it but it also came with these music box um, they have those slots that these slide right down in and then you just I would push them but they do not stop <laughs> like they don't stop until the song is over but um, they play Christmas music. Uh, one of them plays um, jing is it Jingle Bells? Jingle Bells, I think, or Rudolph. I don't remember. Yeah, Jingle Bells. And then, um, I don't know. They play Christmas music. I can't remember which songs. They do have songs written down here, but I'm not sure if those are the songs that they play or not. But I was so excited about this and I honestly could not believe that that seller accepted my offer. I'm just trying to pick this stuff up because there was two dolls that were their bodies weren't soft bodies but they were similar and they wanted $35 just for the dolls and it didn't come with anything else so I was really really excited about that and I'm so glad that I was able to get that because it just made my whole day but like I said I do have the crocheted versions they do have Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus crochet version of the patterns um, they're similar well they're not they're different I will try to pop up their pictures of those patterns that I have coming but I will also show them again whenever I get them in now the last thing that I want to talk about is um, I found um, a few of you here in the comments when I started showing those Dumplin design dolls you all recommended that I go watch crocheting with Alana and I love her channel and I'm so glad that you all recommended her to me I did not realize that there was somebody out there that loved those dolls as much as uh, me and Rebecca do so it was really nice to um, find her channel but she also makes tutorials and in one of my featured photos Friday videos I showed a Barbie dress that Cecilia had made and that really kind of got me interested in making Barbie clothes. Now, I have not tried it yet, but I plan on it. I plan on it. But I did go to Walmart, and I got a little $5 Barbie. Um, she, like I said, she was only $5. Um, but she is, um, they, have, they make different sizes of Barbies. She is just your standard Barbie sized. But they make, I call them... I call them big booty Barbies because they're more curvy and voluptuous and um, they look like real human beings and not like a Barbie doll, you know. And my daughters do have some of those Barbie dolls, but her pattern, um, she has a doll dress pattern, I'll pop it up right here, that I want to make and her pattern does call for just your regular standard Barbie doll. So, I got this because I did not have one. I thought that I did, but I didn't. Well, I thought that they did, but they didn't. They've kind of got rid of a lot of their Barbies. In that pattern, she uses this Premier Eversoft yarn. Now, I bought this yarn a while back when it very first came out. I think it hadn't been out very long when I bought this yarn in intentions of making a blanket for my living room um, because my living room is in navies and grays so that was going to be my colors for my blanket well I never finished it I have pieces of it but I never finished it and I figured I probably never will and if I do decide to 
then I will just order more because I'm sure a Barbie dress does not take that much yarn. But I did get a couple of random skeins of it because I really liked how this yarn looked. I said this is what Alana recommends to use with those doll dresses. So I was trying to debate on because I wanted to use this yarn and I was trying to debate on what colors I want to use because as you can see from the picture hopefully it's still popped up as you can see from the picture I um, she uses two um, different colors so I was kind of thinking of like the blue with the silverish color I think this is called mist yeah this one is mist and this one is navy so i was thinking about doing those two together yeah that's more accurate or maybe doing the navy with the gray there went my purple in the floor <laughs> so i'm not sure what i want to do but i i think i want to try it two times at least once <laughs> But I really like, I kind of like this um, mist with the navy. And then I had this purple because I wanted to do like, you know, something beside navy and gray. And I had this random purple. So I thought maybe I could pair it with black. Purple and black. I think this is black. Maybe it's, no, yeah, it's black. Purple and black. So I'm not sure and the, even even the purple and the mist might be okay but I'm kind of leaning toward this purple and black I don't know what do you all think but I really want to try that doll dress because it uses a four weight yarn um, a lot of the Barbie doll dresses that I have seen um, especially vintage patterns they use a um, size 10 cotton thread and I can't use that I can't do that I can't see it um, it's too small so um, I have found a couple patterns that use sport weight yarn so I'm kind of wanting to try out these thicker yarns and then who knows I might end up going down a Barbie doll rabbit hole too <laughs> I don't know <laughs> this I can't stay off of there I keep looking and like I said I've got a few other things just small things um, coming some of them are from my husband and like I said there are a couple things just a few little things that I kind of went out on a whim and just purchased for myself um, but yeah I, I just um, I told you all like the vintage um, vibes they've got me they've really they really put their hooks in me and um i just need to like delete the ebay app off my phone the etsy app um because etsy um that people sell patterns on there like not just digital patterns but they sell like physical patterns and patterns and stuff on there too so i just got to just quit looking but like i said i i've i, I I'm not going to make no promises. I'm not going to say I'm on a ban because I know, I, I know, I know next podcast I'm going to have more things to show you because I have more, more things coming in the mail. So yeah, okay. <laughs> but anyway, um, that is all that I have to show you. And let me just make sure, yeah, that is all that I have to show you. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I have a feeling that I will not be inserting any clips because I think this video is very, very long all on its own. So whatever I work on tonight and the rest of this week, um, I will be showing you all um, then. And don't forget, I do have a Stitcher library um, coming out this Thursday. So I'm really excited to show you my progress on um, Elliot the elephant. I don't think that I will have him done, but we'll see. We'll see. You never know. Um, but anyway, I hope, like I said, that you enjoyed this video and I will be seeing you all real soon in another one. Bye.